1340-96.5 KVGC on the phone with me, Douglas Viviani of Everything Old is New Again. Tonight, he and David Cohen host a program that takes a look back at our pop culture, examines it, where it came from, why it's still popular, and make radio fun again is their tagline, and they definitely do that. Douglas, I don't know if I should play the uh, ABC Wide World of Sports theme right now, or maybe, remember remember the Chariots of Fire theme? Yeah. You know, with the guys running on the, th- or maybe even the Rocky theme. We could be playing that right now. How did you do? You could play the Chariots of Fire, and you could see me slow motion. Running. Yeah, yes, 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 but, but, but that would actually be a, a f- There was a snafu. What? Whoa, 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 whoa. Yeah. Roll the tape back. What did he say? A snafu? <laughs> a snafu. Uh-oh. First, let me say this. I could pretend that this didn't happen, but I have to tell the truth because there's a video online from the East Northport Chamber of Commerce Festival Committee. They put on a video on Facebook of the results, and actually of the entire three-minute or four-minute donut eating contest, and you will not see me there. Because Leo and I said, before this contest, I need to, like, loosen up. I need to relax. So I'm going to take an easy ride with Leo, my seven-year-old. Let's go on the Ferris wheel, okay, Leo? And to Leo, Ferris wheel is a very scary event. I don't know. It goes high in the air and whatever. So <laughs> we, get, <laughs> we go on there. God forbid I can ride a roller coaster, right? Anyway, so we go on this thing, and... It's a little, you know, it's like made, it's, it's a, like I say, rickety, but it's portable, you know? Yeah. <laughs> we got stuck on it for 25 minutes and, 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 and missed the, the event. Didn't you yell from on it, go, hey, do you know who I am? I was freaking out, but now I, here's the dilemma. I want to get off there. I want to make a scene. I want to yell and whatever. Me yelling, I don't think it's going to make them move any faster to fix this thing to get me off of there, number one. Number two, me yelling and, and gyrating and all that is going to make Leo, who's afraid of this thing to begin with, even more traumatized. So I had, and it was against my nature, this Italian blood was boiling. And I had to just sit there and be calm, cool, and collected and just let it go. You should have called in the big guns. You should have got your wife. You should have called your wife to okay. You're right. You need You're to right. start yelling. Right. My wife, my wife talk about these festivals all the time. My wife despises these festivals. <laughs> so I'm there with the kids alone. <laughs> so we're... poor Angelica with her friend at the at the foot of the Ferris wheel, waiting for me to get off. She's all excited, and you know wants to see Dad. Who knows why? Wants to see Dad do this contest, and she's like, I see her. She's like a little speck, and I see her. And she's waving and whatever. But she wasn't aware of the time factor, thank goodness. So she wasn't freaking out. But when we got off, what a disappointment for all of us, because I run over there, and it had already begun. Didn't and she... the guy ate only 11 in four minutes. I'm telling you I could do more than 11 donuts in four minutes. If you watch that video, there's only one guy in there that's really like, eating like a loon. The rest of them are like taking their time eating like, like they have a cup of coffee next to it. What... What was your record last year? How many did you eat? Twelve. Twelve? Oh, my God. Yeah. And oh, I know that... I could have done better this year. I know I could have because I knew some more tricks. So you, 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 you get it and you, okay. you kind of squeeze okay. it together and all this. I'm, yeah, yeah, I'm yeah. Upset. All right, all right. Hold it up. Hold it up here. Okay. So this is put on by the East Northport uh, Chamber of Commerce? Yep. All Correct. right. Who's the president or executive director of the Chamber of Commerce? Uh, some girl named Sh- lady named Shirley. I have to get okay. Right. Well, was the winner of this donut contest somehow related to Shirley? You need to look this up. I want you to know need if to a look in- if they yes. knew the guy with the shirt, the everything old is new again. White shirt is is on this Ferris wheel. Turn it off. Let him miss this. Uh, you know this this uh, contest. Of course, of course, yeah. they did that. I know. Here's the thing. I have to debate this now. Because we did this on our show about three years ago, four years ago. We did a uh, food eating contest, and we did one with pizza. And I won that between myself, David, and our engineer. Now, this weekend, not this, upcoming, next, next weekend, there's a, another fair at um, a park somewhere, Tanner Park. I forget where it is. It's a little ways away, but I haven't been to this one. But there's a pizza eating contest there. Do I take this energy 
and all this angst and direct it towards pizza, or do I let this go? Douglas, to be really honest with you, <laughs> this could be the universe speaking to you. <laughs> This the universe could, does speak to me a lot, and I ignore it all the time. That's why I have so much trouble. That's what uh, this what this may be. That, you know, maybe you were meant to sit on that Ferris wheel. I don't know. Well, then why Just... did the universe tell me about this pizza eating? Because <laughs> <laughs> I roll. Here's the secret on the pizza eating contest. Roll it up like a taco, you know, like like a burrito, whatever. You just roll the pizza up yeah. and eat it like that, and do two of them at once. I did that on the uh, on the show, and I I. Out eight, uh, owing two other characters, but uh, I felt good about that. I so, do you think how many pieces of pizza could you eat? I could, boy, if I was younger, it'd be different. I could probably do, if they do it in f four minutes, I could probably do eight. And what size pieces are we talking about? Maybe now? six. I mean, is um, this a mini pizza? Is this an no, extra this regular, large? Is this a family pizza, size? Regular New York style pizza. All right. The problem is the crust. Yeah, yeah, you know that's so. Maybe maybe I can only do six and, and then four minutes. I like I do two at once. You know, I like the crust. Do you like the crust on pizza? I hated it as a kid. If, if you um, saw me as a kid eating pizza, you know, you my uh, my plate would be like all the other kids. I think with all the the crust there. But I like it now to dip it into olive oil, salt, and pepper. Really? You know that? So so do you eat? Let's say you're sitting around the house eating pizza. Do you eat the pizza and save the crust and come back to it later? No, I'll eat one slice. Sometimes what I'll do is I'll eat halfway in, and I'll fold over the crust into the pizza and eat, eat that, if that makes any sense. So the pizza and the crust at the same time, so it's not dry. Or I'll eat it to the, to the crust, and if I've got the olive oil, yeah, yeah. Uh, I'll dip it, dip it right there. And I kinda, We went to Italy, and I never did the olive oil thing before, but I, I got that from Italy, because the pizza, believe it or not, in Italy is horrible. They don't have a lot of cheese. They don't have a lot of sauce. So they augment it with the olive oil, and um, I don't know. I got the idea. I kind of like it for the end of the pizza. Do you ever do that? No, but I'm, I'm thinking because what I do is I usually save my crust till the end because I really like the crust, and I like to leave just like oh, an eighth of an inch of sauce and stuff around it, you know, so yep. that when I eat it, there's some of that crust and that sauce still Well, yeah. how about dipping it? If you had a little extra sauce to dip the crust in, I guess you could do that. Good. Yeah, I could do that. I just don't like dry food. That's my thing. When I was a kid, my parents made pizza at home all the time. At least once a week we made really? pizza. Yeah. yeah. How did it come out? I mean, I remember, I remember it was living good. in uh, L.A. and the water, whatever, something was different, could not get the, the bread to really rise too well. No, it was good. Uh, okay. They used, oh, boy, like uh, it was like a, a box mix, like a Pillsbury um, you know, Pillsbury, some type of dough mix, you know, I don't know if it was bis biscuits okay. or whatever, and roll it, and they put it in a, in a, uh, like a, a jelly roll pan, like one of those square pans, you know, I don't know what you call them, one of those uh, pans that people make cookies in. Right. And would make it on that, and then put okay. the sauce and cheese and pepperoni So like on, a deep so. dish almost. Kind of, kind of, sort of, yeah. That they yeah. have here, you know what you could do, and I just thought of this, I haven't done this in a while, but I had done it in the past. I think LA, I mean, California is a little different, I think, with pizza. I'm not sure. Do, do you have a pizza place you go into and they're making the pizza fresh and you see the dough that they've made not made, laid out? You know, it's like a big ball of dough. Yeah, yeah. All right, so yeah. you can buy just the ball of dough, bring it home, flatten it out, and cook your own pizza. Because to me, the dough is the hardest part, no? Yes. So I'm thinking of that, that Correct. might be a good idea. <laughs> And then, and then you can make your own, you go crazy. You got, then you make your own pizza sauce. That's what makes a good pizza. This, this, this contest has really affected you, hasn't it? It really has. It really, you. yeah. You try it, uh, training, eating donuts like a lunatic and try to figure out how to eat them fast oh, and talk to people about it and be stuck on a Ferris wheel. Boy, I, I'm losing sleep these days. I'm with you, brother. I'm with you. Meanwhile, what, did I, what would I have won? I think it was $100, I think, for first place. It wasn't like a big deal. I would prefer to have a trophy, wouldn't you? Yeah, yeah. And if you had a trophy, yeah. what would it look like? I guess you just put a donut on the top, right? Yeah, like a donut, maybe a, or, or maybe maybe a person, you know, could you know a, a, a nondescript person, because you wouldn't know if it was a man or a woman that would win. So yeah. you know, we're in, well. So you're in New York, probably be a man here in California. <laughs> has to be a person holding a donut. 
a bit like holding it like yeah. like, a, like over his head, like yeah. a, like the Stanley Cup. Yes, exactly. <laughs> Holding, holding a, a big, like, but holding a huge oversized donut yeah. over his head. Yeah, yeah, you know, uh, that's actually good. You know, here's another thing. There's a a um, I never thought of this. There's a trophy store down the block. Ah, I could just ah. have one made and put it up there <laughs> and hand it one. Who's gonna know? Yeah, exactly. Who's? <laughs> <laughs> you get a knock on the door, sir. This is the uh, East <laughs> Northport police. police. Yeah. We understand you have a uh, anyway. Hey, An uh, authorized trophy exactly. Twenty bucks, I can I can I can live my dreams. Well, baseball season pretty much is over for you guys. Yes, what yeah, a yeah. But uh, the Dodgers, what the Dodgers won I, the the uh, uh, division, the earliest since Cincinnati back in the day. And they, seven in a row. Yeah, they clinched the the series. They're or the, sort of like the, uh, reliving the. Sort of like the Brooklyn Dodgers in that they're getting to the game and not winning. Is this the year? Who cares? Is this 1955 over again? Who cares? It's the Dodgers. <laughs> Nobody cares. We want to move on to you know 49ers one and zero, maybe going all the way. I, yeah, this year. I, I'll tell you, 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 your team is at least there's some hope there. No, I tell you what. As much as I know, you despise them, and hey, I, I, I have no real. If, if if they're in the Super Bowl, I root for them. Right. The Patriots, um, oh, you know, so I watched them the other night on TV. Oh. They look good. I didn't think they had it this year. If you yeah, remember last they week, look I good. said no, but yeah, they're looking. Yeah. That's really a shame. <laughs> really, <laughs> I mean, they just, they, this guy Brady does not go downhill. I mean, he is, I, I hear all these stories. Have you heard all the stories? He's got a football field and a complex in his backyard. Yeah, yeah. And, and, and all this, and he's out there all the time. That special blah, blah. diet that he's on. Yes. You know, yeah. you have to eat at certain times and not at certain times and this and that. And hey, yeah. hey, I mean, if, he's like ageless, this guy. Who, who am I to argue with that, okay? Yeah. I mean, hey, <laughs> if it works for him. But, but hey, what do you think? I mean, uh, the Yankees kind of took a dive there the last couple of days. I know they're, they're coming back out of it. But you Here's think- the thing. Yankees have yet, have yet to play their planned starting nine except for opening day. They've had so many injuries, and they're still forging ahead. It's amazing to me what they what they've done with replacement players and and uh, rookies and so forth. I I don't know. I think there is. I I hate to jinx them, but I think they're a team of destiny. Do the now John Carlos Stanton is coming back next week. He's played nine games this year, and he's like Babe Ruth. Well, I don't know. We'll see what happens. Here. Do the Yankees and Mets play a series during regular? Uh, yes, every year. Yeah, the Giants and the A's do too. Is it is it packed? It's packed. It's it's fun. Yeah. Everybody really, yeah. especially yeah. of course. I mean, if one team's really bad, it's, there's nothing to it. But like a year like this year, where both teams are are pretty decent. Uh, you know, I'm saying that because the Mets Mets are a little bit less than the Yankees, but they're still they're coming on strong. And and so yeah, it, it's it, and it is you know you got the the fans yelling at each other, let's go Mets, and you hear Yankees, let's go Mets, Yankees, and, you know, like, everybody's all, it, it's usually good nature, except for the younger folk, anybody, in, like, maybe in their 20s, they kind of, yeah. you know, fun, they just take it a little too seriously. Ours is, ours is called the Bay Bridge series, and believe okay. it or not, believe it or not, the A's are up on the Giants. I, I looked it up the other day, so that's, I, 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 know, I know this statistic, it's not just sitting in my head, I know this because I... <laughs> Just saw it. Uh, the A's lead the series sixty-four games to sixty. Wow, sixty-four that, games to sixty. So now the A's and Giants played World Series. Was that the? Uh, that, that was the earthquake. Earthquake series. World Series, right? Yeah. That was yeah. the last time. But that must have been a kick. What was that like? I remember. Well, you know, honestly, the yeah. the A's kind of rolled on them, so it, yeah. it uh, it wasn't that good for us Giants fans. But I can remember. I can remember exactly what, where I was, time of day, what I was doing. I, I had I had the TV on, uh, the series on the TV, and I had the radio on KNBR. I was in the kitchen and I was rinsing off some spaghetti. Okay, yeah. I had, had made spaghetti. Seriously, I was rinsing it off in the pot and getting ready to put the sauce, you know, with it. And all of a sudden, the TV went right. and went off, and then the radio went on. And off and on. And what the hell is this? On and off and then, shh. Uh-oh, what's going on here? So back in those days, without the TV or the radio, 
where do you get your news? Right. right? So I tuned in to, so I said, well, you know, I work at a radio station. So I, tu- I tuned in to, uh, to our station, and it was just getting time for ABC News. And ABC News comes up and says, there's been an earthquake. And uh, a friend of mine was actually at that series. Fred and Jackie Fletcher were actually wow. at that series. And they brought them all, everybody, everybody into the, some people they, 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 they sent out, you know, but others, most of them, they brought them into the, into the field, onto the field, were standing right. right there with the players, players' families, and so forth. Yeah. And Fred said, actually, you know, the, the candlestick started shaking so much, there were uh, bolts, you know, nuts falling off of bolts and stuff. Wow. It was getting kind of And that was crazy. candlestick, not the new one. Yeah, candlestick, yeah. The candlestick had been there. So it was an old, one of the oldest parts yeah. of the, the yeah. league at that point. Yeah, and then the then the A's went on to to beat the uh, the uh, Giants in that series. But uh, Lou Pinella, I think, was the man. Those were good. Him. Those were good years back then they for the good. A's and Giants. But anyway, I, I like the A's, but I hate the, I like to hate the A's because uh, they beat the Mets in '73, and I'll never forgive them for that. <laughs> uh, but but I love the uniforms. I, I softball uniforms with Taylor. Yeah. For years. Hey, what's up with today's show? We are going to revisit a guest that we had previously that I think went over so well. Uh, that I said, the heck with it, and I love the topic, I'm going back to this. So we have Nick Parisi, who was on uh, previously talking about Rod Serling, his book, uh, His Life, Work, and Imagination. We're going to dive into more discussion of Twilight Zone, more discussion of Rod Serling, more discussion of Serling Fest in Binghamton, where Rod Serling grew up, is happening October 4th, 5th, and 6th, and this gentleman's running that, it's a convention, so we're going to talk about that a little bit, but really... He's just, he, he is a wealth of information about uh, the Twilight Zone, if you want to, you know, and, and Rod Serling. So we're really get into some, to, going to get into some good stuff talking about the Twilight Zone movie, which you never talked about before, yeah. other episodes and behind the scenes. Guy really knows all kind of stuff. And who doesn't like the Twilight Zone, you know? So um, I don't know. We're going to have some fun doing that. Nick Parisi. It sounds like a guy from the neighborhood. Are you sure you didn't just get your brother? You made up a name and your brother's going to be... <laughs> Nick My Parisi. brother's not uh, well-rounded enough. He he doesn't have the, the the plethora of information that this guy has. Otherwise, I would do that. I have no scruples when it comes to uh, did <laughs> you it comes to getting a guest that if it's interesting, I'm going with it on the radio. So I'm you would have you would have been too too young to watch first run. Yes. Uh, yeah. You, did, did you see it as a kid first run? You know, I think I did, but my young. family didn't watch it. Okay. We weren't a family of that type. Of, we we watched. Uh, I, I was thinking about it the other day. We watched, um, oh, uh, um, like Bonanza and right. uh, the Virginian. Well, this had to and, be like you're taking a chance. In other words, it was yeah. it was something completely different. So you'd have to, I don't know, be open to for and, and there was no taping of anything. So you had to, this is going to be your time to watch a show that's really different. The question is. After this show, they did an outer, what's called the Outer Limits, if yes, you remember this. Yes, yes, More of a sci-fi. Did, now they, they, the Twilight Zone broke the ground. Did you dive into the Outer Limits as a little older kid? Not until um, older, until my, you know, 20s or 30s. All right, so then how about the Night Gallery? Watch the Night Gallery. Night Gallery scared the bejeebies out of me. Yeah. And yeah, I like was... to watch Star Trek, but, you know, that that was... Um, no one in my family really liked it. And it was tough because we didn't have a TV in every room, right? No, you only had and one was... TV. And you had, to, you, you had to, like, beat everybody in there to turn it on or hope Dad would fall asleep and right. you could turn the channel. Or you know. the negotiation during yeah. dinner, you know. Yeah, yeah. Which yeah. You so, I remember so, watching yeah, the, yeah, yeah. I so can... we go through it. He, he's really a, a fun guest. I, I really, really yeah. has a lot of, yeah. Uh, he's, you and know, now, I guess we, you just connect with sometimes you just have a guy that yeah, or a gal yeah. that's on and you just you know you just have a good rapport so it, it, i think it works so we'll see peter weller yes should we have him back yes i gotta keep think of another topic i keep, keep hey, on uh was 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 he in was he in poor man rich man no that no. was the other guy i know who you're talking yeah, about yeah 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 because i saw a thing about poor man rich man the other day and it showed you know showed the, the characters now that looks like peter weller but yeah, it, that but was uh, Peter Strauss. That's it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. Actually, I should look that guy up. I, I, I tried Nick Nolte, and he ignored us, but uh, maybe Peter Strauss would do something. You know who I'm working in the... I hate to jinx things, but do you remember Starsky and Hutch? 
Yeah. Oh, yeah. A- any interest in the, in maybe a reunion on our show? Oh, yeah. hey. Yeah. Working on it. It's possible. It's, I'm not going to promise a thing. They both said yes, but I can't hear David Souls in New England, in England, not New England, in England, and he's now... His people said yes, and then they haven't gotten back to me. You go through all these machinations and yeah. it's, uh, whatever. But we'll, we'll see. I might, I might get that going. That kind of, kind of could be interesting. Tonight at 6 o'clock, tomorrow night at 6 o'clock, everything old is new again. Douglas Viviani and David Cohen. Douglas, have a great show. Tell you what, I'll still send you a dozen donuts. Uh, okay, and I'll eat them in one sitting. There you go.